हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल सुशांत चस वाइज टुडे वी आर एट द नेक्स्ट टॉपिक दैट इज द इंस्ट्रक्टिव मिनियचर्स एंड टुडे वी हैव व्हाट द गेम बिटवीन टू हेवी वेट्स जुकर डॉट वर्सेस एंडरसन जुकर डॉट हु वाज अ स्टूडेंट ऑफ एंडरसन ही प्लेड द गेम एक्सेलेंटली एंड वी सी सम सम मिस्टेक्स बाय ऑफ कोर्स एंडरसन आल्सो लेट्स सी हाउ द गेम गोज अहेड e4 e5 nf3 nc6 bb5 the royal opus one of the most popular openings even today white's idea is simple he pressurizes c6 knight and indirectly puts pressure on the e5 pawn right now we know we can't take e5 because bishop c6 d6 knight e5 allows 2d4 regaining the e4 pawn instantly black has many possible moves here a6 nf6 bishop c5 in this game black played knight g7 knight simply protects the fellow knight after bishop c6 knight will take and support the e5 pawn this knight wants to go to the g6 square in future in royal opus one of white's main plan is to play c3 d4 go castle and put pressure on the e5 pawn so white goes c3 knight never goes to c3 in this kind of positions because when black chases the bishop with a6 b4 b5 bb3 knight a5 to attack the bishop the bishop wants to come to the c2 square the moves c3 d4 will try to attack e5 when after e d c d e pawn wants to move and the c2 bishop wants to get freed over there So white never plays knight c3. He wants to pre preserve the bishop on b5. So c3, d6. Black opens the c8 bishop and he is trying to complete his development. After knight g6, bishop will go to e7. Black will do castle. White went d4. Immediately controlling the center. E d4, c d4. Will give white good place in the center. After which the knight will get space on the c3 square. White now threatens d5 and also threatens d5, d5, e5, knight e5, black plays b7. Simply unpinning the knight and e5 is protected. Bishop c6, then knight c6, d5, then d5. E5 is protected. Even bishop c6, bishop c6, d5. Bishop e4 is also possible. White went castle. Black improves the knight position. Wants to free his bishop. The main benefit of White's position is White has choice of many plans. B g5 is not such a good idea. After b7, b7, queen e7, we will see that this bishop on c1 will get traded for the f8 bishop, which is locked right now. Also, White will move the bishop twice. For the bishop, which has moved once. In future, I will be making some special lessons on the rules of exchanging, so that we come to know when we should exchange the pieces and when we should avoid. The white went with the unusual, slightly unusual move. He goes knight g5. Those who have seen my earlier lessons, they know very well. Whenever there is no knight on f6, I made a very initial lesson called missing knight on f6. Whenever there is no knight on f6, the queen can land on h5, and this knight g5 move is very common in those cases. F7 is weak now because of the knight on g6. Queen can easily settle on h5. Just for instance, if now b7, then queen h5, bishop g5, bishop g5 will hand over the initiative to white. Queen will have to go to c8 when knight d2 can be played, d5 can be played. White will be somewhat better. And after the move h6, there will be knight into f7, causing serious problems here. Because after king f7, bishop c4 check, k f6, and white will have the very strong move f4. When we can make out that white is winning, this knight cannot move because of queen f7 mate. So after e f, we will have the possibility of b f4 and rook f4 both. And this position is, of course, winning for white. In the game, black went with the move h6, allowing the idea which white had in mind. I think at this point, Anderson must have made some calculation mistake because the way he 
played in the next variation we will see that there was an obvious error of course both must have considered the move knight f7 now because that is one of the white's most obvious reply no one will play knight g5 to just get attacked by h6 and return back on f3 so white must have 100% seen this and at that level black cannot miss that that white is going to play f7 so some calculation mistake must have happened for example knight f7 kf7 bc4 check it looks like after the move king f6 the king is still okay nothing much is happening after queen f3 check knight f4 can be played perhaps or else he must have seen that he can play the move b6 but b6 turns out to be a very bad move because which of e6 k e6 d5 is available so of course over there white is better there is one more variation where black must have missed after the move knight f7 kf7 bc4 the king is under check and after the move king e7 queen comes to h5 and it looks like the move queen e8 is able is able to hold everything the f5 square is still guarded by the bishop queen supports the knight and it looks like the king will escape from the d8 square perhaps this could be the mistake which black must have made in his calculation let's go to the game now white went knight f7 kf7 bishop c4 check and here ke8 was to be played which is perhaps somewhat better but after king h5 queen f6 this could be possible that black wanted to play this line but when the position came he must have seen the move f4 when after e into f we can see that rook f4 wins on the spot the queen cannot protect the knight anymore and after qg6 check white's position is winning king e7 and again white goes queen h5 idea is simple knight cannot move any knight move would allow queen f7 mate so knight e5 is a possibility but then just d and after knight e5 we can go for many moves like in the game black if plays b8 then he loses control of the e6 square here white can mate by force we can see a mate in 4 happening after the moves bg5 hg5 qg5 check kd7 queen f5 check ke7 and queen e6 waits let's play the moves bg5 hg qg5 check kd7 queen f5 check ke7 and queen e6 waits so again black simply blundered he played queen e8 and perhaps i feel he must have simply overlooked the check it looks like there are no good checks queen h4 is not there g5 is well guarded but white played qg5 and after hg just bishop g5 checkmates and white wins the game he could have also done the g5 check first so we are seeing from these games that players of very higher level like right from world champion or to the players who are in top 10 they are also prone to tactical or fundamental errors i hope you are finding these games useful do like share and subscribe the channel thanks for your time